done the right way. It was 2005. Okay. Y'all decided that it would be in y'all best interest to go to the Taste of Chicago. Right after I just started, I just, after six months of trying, finally got Michelle to go out and realized I hate Michelle. So that's when you wanted to go to the Taste of Chicago and I had to drag Michelle down there to the Taste of Chicago. So, dragging her down to the taste, y'all wanted to ride. Both of y'all wanted to ride down to the taste. And you know Lavelle play too much. Lavelle down there putting his finger in people's food that he don't even know. He just going around sticking his finger in people's food and thinking it's funny. Because he played too much. And Tori just think he the ladies man and he out there just trying to pick up chicks at the Taste of Chicago. And then I'm trying to get rid of Michelle. Because I can't stand her. So now, at the end of the day, I had to leave. Because I'm finna get taken. I'm taking Michelle back to the train because she's not riding back with me. So when I came back, lo and behold, Lavelle is the one that had that girl for And Lavelle, the one that's like, hey, here is Sabrina, whatever her name was. That was Lavelle, not Tori, who saw her first. So I'm gonna end all this confusion <laughs> right now. <laughs> I had just saw Revenge of the Sith, so I know exactly what I'm talking about. So it was 2005, summertime. We had saw Revenge of the Sith in that May. And now I even remember why me and Michelle got into it. Because my ex went and saw Revenge of the Sith and she was upset that she got a, I got a text from her. So that was a strike one. So then, to cap it all off, y'all got so excited because Lavelle brought the girls back. Tori, it was your idea and your idea only that we take, uh, that we go out to Palatine and get them a ride home. So I said, okay, fine, y'all can try my car and go to Palatine. And Lavelle wanted to drive my car, remember? And I let him drive the Cavalier. No, I didn't have a Cavalier. I had just got the uh, Durango. That's the, matter of fact, I had just bought it. Cause I just bought it that March. So, yep, I had the Durango. So he was driving the Durango then. We get, we get all the way out there on the road. We've been to stop and get some gas. So we giving the girls a ride all the way back to Palatine. Now I'm back when I could think. So on our way back to Palatine, we stopped to get some gas. We go to the gas station. We go to the gas station. And, you know, he got the money for the gas. The real get out to go get the gas. He come out, jump in the car like, go, go, go. Then he get in there and he driving. Tori don't drive. I'm like, what y'all in there? The owner of the place come out. And he just stole some chips. And he laughed. So, I'm like, you went in there and stole some chips? Because Lavelle played too much. So we sitting over there. We riding, supposed to be going to Palatine. 
the girls in there trying to give direction. Then all of a sudden, the car stops on the middle of the road because it's your fault, LaVille. You, you were so excited about the girls. You stopped at the gas station, paid for the gas, and forgot to pump the gas. So now we sitting on the side of the road because you done forgot to pump the gas. Trying to impress the girls, all so excited. And got us stuck and on the side of the road for three hours. Somebody gonna come and help us? No, we gotta go and get the gas. You gotta walk all the way back and we was on that long dark road. So Tori didn't try to help at all. He just said, well, I'm gonna talk to the girls. So. <laughs> So what happened was Lavelle went to go get the container, go all the way down there to go get the gas. And while you was doing that, Tori was talking to the girl. So when you came back, Tori, everything changed. Well, I'm talking about Lavelle. When Lavelle, when you came back, everything changed. Tori, the girl, she was liking, she wasn't liking you no more. She was liking Tori. But Tori still gave you the right of passage when you came back to let you go ahead. He still let you go ahead and have your first shot. So... That's what happened, a hundred percent. And you got mad because she chose Tori in the end over you. But Tori did everything right. He followed the rules. He gave you your first shot. She wasn't feeling you no more when you came back smelling like gas so in this case Tori is correct he was right he did everything the right way you were supposed no bag line no bag okay no bag you have a no bag line am I in a no bag line or alright so in this case Tori is right we got a tag out rule, and he followed the tag out rule to perfection. Stay together, guys. It is not his fault. <laughs>